What a, what a way to respond from the league game last week to get the win today in front of a big crowd. Yeah, yeah, re really pleased to get three points and bounce back really quickly. Um, I think the last defeat we had was a couple of months ago against Shoreline and you know that dented confidence a little bit and we had a couple of draws after that and it took us a little bit of time to get our, back in our stride and back on onto a winning formula, but we did. And then obviously we got that punch on the nose on um, on Monday and we've reacted in in the right manner and, and, and got three points. Um, having said that, I thought we were poor today. From um, you know, from a, a footballing point of view, I know the pitch didn't help and was very sticky and you know and, and heavy. But in terms of performances, first half, um, nowhere near where we need to be. Um, you know, nowhere near compact enough to, to make it difficult for Carlton. Um, everything that we were all about, really, that's what we, we try and do and make it difficult for teams. Thought we were way too open, way too loose. Um, Second half, marginally better. Um, obviously, get George giving us a bit of width, and, and Ben obviously getting his goal, which he's needed for three or four games. But um, I think it just shows the, the fine lines in between football matches. You know, in, in my opinion, I thought we played really well Monday away at Leek, and and deserved something from the game. Some real opportunities to, to win it, didn't take them, and then you know three or four days later, we haven't played particularly well. In my opinion, I don't think we played well today. And one three 0 And what do you say to my half time? Because the first half there seemed to be a few little mistakes, and but at the second half they seemed to come out a lot more open and they played ball, ball well, around. There, was, there more. was more than a few mistakes. There was a, there was there was a catalogue of errors. First half, giving the ball away, not moving the ball quickly enough, um, lack of communication, players running into each other, um, not enough leaders on the pitch, not not commanding the ball, you know. And we just looked, we looked like we got a hangover, you know. We looked like. One or two had, had too many drinks on New Year's Eve. You know, looked like looked very legged. Didn't think we looked anywhere near sharp enough first half. I just said that to the lads. You know, we were reacting to things on our heels rather than being on our toes, and and just looked. We looked. We were second to everything, and Carlton looked bright and breezy, and 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 won their battles and turned us round. And the game was always going to be about mistakes today. And first half, you know, we made more mistakes than them. And you know, there wasn't a few errors. There were a lot of errors. What did we say at half time? You know, we just got into them and and just said, look, you know. You, we need to be better, you know, isn't good enough for a team that's top of the league and, and have been playing well. We need to raise our game. It's not going to be all, you know, sunshine and roses for us. There are going to be times when we have poor games and poor halves. It's about how you react and drag yourself out of that mess and as a team and as an individual and, and try and be better. I thought we were marginally better second half and I think we deserved our victory. Obviously two great goals from, from George. He made the difference with giving us some width and getting at the full back and causing him problems. And obviously great for Ben getting his goal because he's needed one he's gone three or four games without and I'm pleased for him like I say marginally better second half but um, you know we can't be starting games and playing like that too often and that substitute with George Cater when he came on obviously Ben set up the first goal but they did seem to play with a bit more urgency once he'd come on the pitch and open them up a bit more yeah well you know a tiring defence a pitch that's very sticky and, and you know a bit of a stalemate really they, they were very direct and asking questions of us and asked one or two questions that you know nearly counted. We were doing the same, too too long, too direct and not not making the, the extra money midfield count because we played with the diamond today. Um, you know, and needed to move the ball, needed to move the ball quicker and we didn't do that and then all of a sudden you put a bit of width on, you leave three in there to look after their three because they're playing a 4-3-3 three, three. and a bit of width opens the game up and just shows you a little bit of quality against the tower in defence. That's what George has got in the Bundes, he's got good feet. You know, can finish and, and gives us gives us a threat in behind. And Woody pulled up. Was it a bit of a hamstring? I'm not sure. To be honest, he, he felt something go, but he carried on and he's, he didn't feel it pulling. It might just be a, a muscular, you know, a muscle reaction. So we'll assess him over the next few days and just see how he is. I'm, I'm hoping it wouldn't be too bad anyway. But we've got ample cover. Alex came on and I thought he did well. And um, Leek again next week. Um, obviously, you know, probably know a bit more about them this time yeah. than last time. Yeah, yeah, you know, and we've got a week to prepare now, hopefully the weather holds out and we can get a couple of training sessions in, one here and one at, um, at Walgarston on Thursday. We've got some work to do. Um, I think, you know, there's uh, there's three or four lads, well not three or four, probably quite a few of them that have had heavy Christmases, heavy New Year and we perhaps need to get them in and, and blow the cobwebs out of them um, on Tuesday and just let them know that, you know, first half, probably, probably first hour, not good enough and not reacting quickly enough to stuff and you know looks like I say, looked a little bit on our heels and we need to be on our toes and, and being first to everything and if not winning being first winning the second ball 
So a um, little bit of work to do, um, but pleased with the three points. Like you said, a couple of weeks ago, so is it all about how you go on the next one now after? Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely is. We've reacted well in terms of um, showed character today and got three points. That's what it's all about. When, when you get a punch in the nose, when you lose a football match, the mark of a good side and a good squad is how quick you react to get, you know, getting back to winning ways. And we've done that within four days of a defeat, which is good. Like I say, last time it happened, it took us three or four games with a couple of two or three draws, and you know, and we don't didn't want that to be happening. So we we let the players know. In my opinion, I thought we played really well Monday. Let the players know that, um, bottled it, as Nick said. We bottle that and try and put that into practice today. Haven't really done that in terms of the way we wanted to play, but shows some real character to make sure that we didn't lose the game and ultimately in the end had too much quality for Colton. Thank you. No worries, thank you.